everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I do all things baby. Today, I'll be sharing with you guys all my tips and what I do to uh, freeze my milk. So I've got a lot of requests on my Instagram on how I freeze my milk, how I store milk, and how I transport my milk. As you guys know, I exclusively pump. So I constantly need milk to feed my baby and I have to keep that milk fresh so it doesn't go bad and I can use it for my next feed. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Okay, first, let me start by the fundamentals, which is storing, the storing time. How long can you keep your milk fresh? So if you just pumped your milk and you want to use it for your next feed, usually the milk fresh on in room temperature will be good from four to six hours. So what I used to do is I will, my last pump will be at midnight, and if my, maid, if my baby woke up at five or six, that milk I will store in a, in a bottle already, ready to go next to my nightstand. So whenever she woke up, I just gave her that and she'll finish it and she'll continue sleeping up to eight or 8.39, depending on whenever she wanted to wake up. So basically at room temperature, fresh milk will stay good for from four to six hours. I really stretched the six hours at times and it was fine. Just make sure that you smell the milk and that you don't see any um, uh, clumps. You will see when the milk has gone bad, you will notice it. Um, so that will be fresh milk. Second, if she doesn't, um, let's say she will always eat from four ounces at each three to four hours. So if I pump four ounces in one breast, the other four ounces I'll put it, I'll store it in the fridge. So to store in the fridge, that will go from, I believe it's two to four days, if I'm not mistaken. Usually she consumes the milk within the two day period. Um, so what I used to do is, whenever I had the fresh milk, I'll pour into one of these Medela bottles. Uh, then I pop it in the freezer, uh, sorry, in the fridge, and then I'll keep it there for cool from two to four days. And what I used to do is I'll put one, two, three. So one will be the milk that we will use on the next feed. And then the second milk will be the most fresh milk that I just pump. And then the third and, and so on. That way my husband or I, whoever is feeding my baby will know which milk to use first because the milk that will be marked as number one will be considered the older, the oldest milk. So that will be uh, for the milk in the fridge. Milk in the freezer can go from six to 12 months. It really depends on you. If you have a deep freezer, you can go up to 12 months. What I did is I used it between the six month period. So whenever I knew I was approaching the six month period, I will start using all that milk. Just feed my baby with all the frozen milk. And then all the milk that I was pumping, I will do another freezing batch. So that, will, that way I can have another six months frozen milk. Uh, so that will be everything in terms of storing your fresh milk in the fridge or storing in room temperature or in the freezer. Okay, so right now I just pump my milk. Um, I have this Medela bottle um, available and I have the milk that I just pump. So what I will do is if you have uh, a Willow pump or a Free Me or whichever pump you got, you will just pour the milk into the bottle. So this milk, if I pop it in the freezer now, it will last me up to four days. I usually try to keep from four, every four ounces. Um, when it's in the fridge, as you will see the milk that I just got from the fridge. If you have milks like this in the fridge and you have 3.5 in one and four ounces in the other, make sure they're in the same temperature to mix it and keep it in the freezer because if you mix cold with hot, the milk might go bad. So what I would do is if I have these two in the free in the fridge already, I'll just pour into one, that way I have eight ounces in one. And then this fresh milk, I'll just pop it into um, the fridge again. And then I'll continue my batch from one, two, three. Um, what I do to freeze my milk, I usually, if I'm pumping into the bags or into a bottle, I will make sure that I have four ounces. It's easier uh, to have four ounces frozen. That way you can pull two, that, that way you have eight to feed your baby whenever she's eating at night. Or for example, my baby, she eats eight ounces at night. 
and during the day she eats by four every four hours she'll eat four ounces four ounces four ounces so i found it easier to freeze the milk in the bags uh marked as four ounces so right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and pour the milk from the fridge that i know they're in the same temperature room temperature So right now I have in one bottle around seven ounces. It usually goes up to eight ounces. That way I know I have two feeds right here. And now I'll pop this bad boy back into the fridge and it will be good for another two days. This, I, I just pumped it today, so I know it's still good. Um, just make sure that if you have these types of bottles in your fridge, keep, keep two or depending if your baby consumes a lot of milk, you can have three, but make sure you don't have that many bottles in the fridge because then you'll get confused. You won't know which milk is the oldest, the newest or whatever, unless you have a really good system. So what I do is exactly that. I'll have two milk bottles. And if I see that this one is kind of empty and it's in the same um, temperature, I'll just pour into the big one. That way I know I have to get rid of this one whenever I can. Okay, right now I'm gonna show you guys how I freeze my milk. So as I mentioned, I just pumped this milk um so right now i have four ounces as i mentioned it's easier to freeze the milk at every four ounces so if you have it in the fridge two ounces and then you have another two ounces make sure that it's in the same room temperature pour into one bottle then you'll make sure that you have the four ounces and then you can freeze your milk in one of these medela bags or you can use i believe it's called i forget the name of the other brand i'll link it down below uh, there's many brands that you can use. This one's the one that works best for me. Um, it's really preferences. There's no um, bag that's better than the other one. I mean, I've heard good reviews from, from, for some bags and other good reviews for others. This is what works best for me. This can hold up to six ounces. Honestly, if you pour six ounces into this, it says approximately. It's not going to fit all. Like I've had in my beginning days, beginner days as a beginner, I put six ounces into this and it did not end well. So that's why I know four ounces is the best. That way you can remove all the air, make sure that it's correctly stored and you can stack them pretty easily. So let me go ahead and show you how I freeze my milk. Okay, first what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one of these clean bags. You're gonna cut the top part. Uh, that way you will know it's a clean and new bag. And then you're gonna write the date and the month and then you're gonna write the four ounces. So I wrote in mine, February 6, 2020, four ounces. What I do is open the bag, like so. And you're gonna grab the milk and just pour it in. Just take your time because you don't wanna spill milk and if it's your first time, go right ahead and place a plate underneath. That way, you know, if you spill, you're not going to regret it. Okay, so what I do is I usually press on the bottom, make sure the milk goes up a little bit. Take the air out like this, and then I'll, I'll proceed to close it, but not 100%. Because what I do is I, pull, I put it on top of a table like this. And then I'll seal it. The reason why I put it on top of the table like this is because if you have a big air bubble in the middle, it's because you have a lot of air in the bag. So what you want to do is make sure to take out all the air again um, this way up. So as you can see, this one doesn't have really that much air. And this is how thin it should look. This is a four ounce um, milk bag, so it's pretty thin. So how it's going to look after it's frozen it should look like something like this. So what I do in the fridge, I store them um, like this. I, I lay them on the freezer like this, that way it's stored this way, and that way I don't have any issues of a lot of milk being in the bottom, um, and it's easier to stand also. So make sure you store your milk like that, you'll have more space. So the way I transport my milk, I got myself from Winners, I think over there it's in the US, it's called Marshalls. Um, one of these lunch boxes right here, where inside it's kind of insulated this way. Um, and I, I have two of these ice packs that I got with my Medela pump, which are shaped 
this way that way um your bottles can be held inside properly so i have i usually when i go out if i go out for eight hours i have to make sure that i get at least eight ounces of milk ready to go and because i'm exclusively pumping i know that in those two hours i might i will have to pump twice that way i can store the milk inside my little mini cooler that way i know i'll never run out of milk because i'll have the eight ounces here and then i'll have an extra fresh eight ounces that i could use so what i do if it's a long trip i'll make sure to have in eight ounces and another eight ounces if i'm out the whole day and it will look like something like this so you will see that there's space to add more things so if i don't have enough fresh milk in the fridge what i will do is i will grab one of these uh, milk bags that are in the freezer and just pop it inside the lunch box i'll just put it in the outer corner like like so that way i know that it's gonna be cold but yet it's still gonna be defrosting so when i use the milk i'll make sure to use this one and then i just put in a, a a cup a warm a cup full of warm water that way um it can warm up the milk so i can feed it to my baby also since in this lunch box i will have space here uh what i usually do if you have a pump that has uh, different parts to it i'll just quickly rinse it if not you can just pop it in here because it will cut it will keep the all the parts cool that way you can use it for your next pump. it's kind of like the same technique of popping everything to the fridge whenever you're done pumping if you won't if you don't have time to wash everything desanitize everything so what i really liked about this little lunch box and the system that i have going on here is that i have enough space to store my milk um, I have enough space for extra milk that I will pump. So if I just pump milk like this one, I can just store it on the side like this, the side like this. And then I know my milk will be kept cool. And I can just store on the other side uh, all the pump parts. So uh, since, since I'm using the willow, I can just store all the flanges and the flex tubes in there if I don't have time to clean it. Oh, it's itchy. So I know I can um, store everything in there. And if I have any things that need to be stored for my baby now that she's eating solids. For example, I don't know, I if I do a apple puree, I can just store it there, keep it cool. Her carrot, she likes her carrots cold, so I keep it in that lunchbox. So it's a really cool system that I got, not only for the milks, but for my baby's food. And, and if I have, I don't know, my iced coffee, I can just pop it in there if it's a really hot day. Going on on how I defrost my milk or how I warm up my milk, uh, what I do is sometimes when I get the chance, I will take uh, milk from the freezer and then put it in the fridge, wait there a couple of hours until I can see that has defrosted and then I will pour a little bit of warm water into a cup like this and make sure that the cup has enough space to fit the whole bag. Um, and then I will just place the bag inside the cup like so and I'll just shake it like this that way the milk keeps moving and it warms it up evenly. I don't warm up my milk that much uh, because first it might um, damage some nutrients in the milk and second my baby doesn't like really really warm milk. She kind of likes it not too much in room temperature but kind of like going into an iced milk. I don't know why she likes it that way. Whenever I give her warm milk, not hot but warm milk, she does not like it. So I, you will get to know your baby, you'll know what she or he likes. So what I do, as I mentioned, if I have the bag, I'll just move the bag around. If you're using one of these Komotomo bottles, uh, the silicone in these bottles are really, really thick. So it takes a little bit longer to thaw your milk, defrost the milk. Um, I usually never freeze it in these bottles. Uh, so what I do is, whenever it's in the bags, I will make sure that the um, I've warmed up enough the milk and then pour it into these bottles. If not, if it's milk from the fr from the fridge, I will pour it into the bottle. And then in warm water, I'll just place the bottle inside the cup, wait a couple of minutes there, I'll swirl the milk, put it back, wait a couple more minutes, and then the milk should be good to go. When I'm in a hurry, I usually uh, warm up the milk in these Medela bottles because the 
plastic is thinner, so it gets warmed up much quicker than if I was warming it up in her usual bottles. So that's a trick there. Um, if you guys want to warm up milk really fast, use the Medela bottles or use the bags, which is the easier part. You can also, if you don't have a cup available, I don't know, you can run it into um, warm water. Use warm water, don't use hot water because hot water will kill the nutrients in the milk. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any questions or suggestions on what videos you would like to see next. I'm always open for suggestions and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.